it has come to the time where I need to open up a Shopify account. I honestly have been very nervous to do this step i discovered this plan that i didn't know they had so if you go into the pricing section of their website it shows you these options with the lowest being 29 dollars a month which is charged once a year so in total it would be about 360 but if you scroll down right here you find a few other options there is this starter option that is five dollars a month it has all of the basic features that you need personally it just makes it less overwhelming you obviously do have the option to upgrade once you feel like it is necessary so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do this to be honest Alrighty. <laughs> JJ Santos and I'm just starting I would like to sell online I would eventually like to sell in person social media and maybe online marketplaces products I buy or make myself and then probably some digital products in the future I'll be selling in the US I'm gonna go ahead and sign up with Google with my business email that is crazy okay here is a setup guide oh man this is happening i'm gonna start off with customizing my online store just because with adding products i don't know it seems overwhelming so i'm gonna click on editing theme one of the cons of this starter plan, there isn't much customization. Honestly, that does suck, <laughs> but it is $5 a month, so it makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and upload my logo. Here at the bottom, I am going to add my social media. Copying this link from my Instagram. Paste it. I'm also going to paste my YouTube. A TikTok. I have the three platforms on here and it is going to... I'm going to save it really quickly. gonna name my store just gonna be Sana yeah, something to shop. save I have my stickers here I'm just gonna do a little cute photo shoot for the website just emailed the photo shoot pictures to myself i'm gonna download those to add them to my shopify click add a product i'm gonna upload the first file I went ahead and made small changes to my 
product listings i added another size to each sticker so i have a large and a small size i added those dimensions also added a product type on this side apparently that just helps with the organization in general this you want to fill it out because apparently it helps determine tax rates and stuff so that sounds important this is where i was able to add my variant option so i have two different sizes but for example let's say you were selling a shirt and you had extra small through 3xl you could add all those options here and you can keep the price the same or change that there's other variants there's colors if you have a shirt but you have it available in black and blue and yellow you could add that there the other thing i'm going to add right now some shipping information to all of my products because this starter shop it doesn't have the option to add pages so this is how the website is looking right now typically there is options up here with different pages for example this small business they have all of these pages here i would personally want to add one that gives information about shipping and handling but again this small business in particular they decided to do this in each product so that's exactly what i'm gonna do as well right now i don't really know exactly what my shipping policy is because i haven't gotten there yet so that's a little scary <laughs> What I do know from the shipping is I am probably going to be offering free shipping and tracked shipping for my stickers. So tracked shipping is going to obviously cost more, but personally, I would choose the free shipping. I would prefer it even though there is a little bit more risk associated to that but yeah so essentially that's kind of what this lays out i think for now this little shipping section is fine once i upgrade to basic or something else i definitely want to add that policies page like i mentioned but for now i'm just gonna paste this to all of my products I'm not selling any digital products for now. I'm gonna go ahead and go into set up Shopify payments. I believe this is gonna be how customers can pay for your products. From what I understand, whenever somebody pays with their card via online or just anywhere with their credit card or debit card, there is a fee that is charged for that payment to go through. I think Shopify has that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I right now am only an individual. I don't have a registered business yet. So I'm just gonna fill out my information. Okay, I would maybe say clothing and accessories. I do plan on selling clothing in the future. Subcategory, I am. I'm just gonna confirm. Confirm, agree, and submit for verification. I guess we will see what happens with that. I submitted for Shopify payments, which the rate is gonna be at 5% plus 30 cents each transaction. So that allows for all of these payments, which is great. Next, I am going on to taxes and duties because it seems important. United States of America. I'm just gonna keep it to this because I don't really know <laughs> what all of this stuff means. That's where those categories come from. This, you want to fill it out because apparently it helps determine tax rates. Those are gonna help us make sure taxes are collected correctly for each product. For right now, I'm gonna get a domain. I'm gonna use this link. I would personally like it to be Sana luna.store by now and these are the options that i have so it seems like sanaluna.store oh 
it's not taken okay that's good so sana luna to add cart there's this girl she has a lot of businesses she has a youtube channel and her name is isabella her youtube name is baddie and business she has this code to get a discount this coupon is still working as you guys can tell so it gives that discount of $30 and for $1 you get a store domain. I'm gonna go ahead and place order. I don't have an account so I'm gonna create an account. Alright. I officially own sanaluna.store. Now I'm gonna go back to Shopify. I'm gonna go to settings and on settings I'm gonna go to domains. Connect existing domain. This is where I'm gonna enter the domain I bought. Go to next. Here it actually does give instructions for how to set it up. Go to the dot store website. I'm going account. I'm gonna go to manage orders. So here I can see my domain. I'm just gonna click on that. It says I have to verify it so i'm gonna do that really quickly by going to my email i'm gonna scroll all the way and go to dns management click on manage dns add a record put the shopify ip address which is 23.227.38.0 Six, five. I am not touching the detail. Gonna put add record and then we're gonna go up here to CNAME records. Add CNAME. Add CNAME www. And on here, you're gonna wanna type shops.myshopify.com and then add record. So now I have two right here. Then I'm gonna go back to my Shopify and right here, click verify connection. Now, let's figure out shipping. Yay. I am terrified right now. I am back after a few days of trying to do some research and figure out this shipping situation. From what I understand, I have a few options. So Shopify has the option of them pricing and sort of doing the shipping through their website and their platform. And it's kind of like a one-stop shop. Or I could purchase the shipping labels from outside places like the post office, UPS, DHL Express, or FedEx. We have two options here where we can set a specific price or we can create custom shipping rates what i'm leaning towards having the price be set depending on the weight of the product right now all of my products are only stickers and there is future products that are also going to be flat with flat products i can mail those with postage stamps which are a lot cheaper they don't have tracking but i do want to provide the option of tracking if customers want it i personally wouldn't do it because it's just extra money but i do get that it is safer so i'm gonna add a package envelope this is gonna be a letter 5.25 by 7.25 i have letter envelopes those are 5.25 5 by 7.25 when empty these envelopes alone weigh 0.3 when empty okay i'm just gonna write 0.3 switch this to ounces and add a package okay This would cost me about $4 to send a tracked package. I'm gonna add the free shipping option. It's gonna be economy, back to eight days. In caps, I'm gonna put no tracking with this option. It's free. This option is only gonna be available if it has a maximum weight of one pound. Five to eight. I'm going to have the option of free 5 to 8 business days, postage, no tracking with this option. The other way for it to be free is if they spend $50 or more. And then we have an economy option, which it's packages from 0 to 5 pounds. So this is the tracked shipping. If they wanted to track the envelope, it would cost them $4.90. International scares me. I'm going to leave this as is for now save i think we're good so all of my products are in the general shipping rates
there's a local delivery option. So if I check that. I looked up zip codes in areas that I would be able to deliver locally. Wrote them down here. We're gonna do a minimum of $10 just because I would still have to go and deliver these products. I'm gonna try it out, see how it works. I'm gonna see how this turns out. I might regret it to be honest, but if I don't, that would be great. So I'm doing it by zip code personally. And then that would make shipping free as well. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna save that add a slogan I'm just gonna save that This is so exciting. I think that is... Oh, wait, what? Oh, there was someone in Saudi Arabia that is seeing my website. I'm confused. One of the unchecked things is a digital product, which I don't have at the moment. Um, Set up Shopify payments. I think I still need to set up PayPal, but I'm going to wait for PayPal until I get an actual LLC. Last thing I'm going to do on this list is scan this QR code in order to figure out this thing. Last thing I'm going to do is set up Link Pop. This is an app that is powered by Shopify. It's just a entrance link that basically has all the links for your brand. In my case, it's social media as well as my shopping website. So let's get that started. So I'm gonna click sign in and I'm gonna sign in with my Shopify account. I'm just gonna put Sana Luna shop. I'm gonna upload a picture of my logo, which is right here, profile name. And for description, I'm gonna put my slogan. Create profile. There is the option of adding products directly here. I'm not sure if I want to do that because from what I've seen, it kind of just looks a little bit messy if I'm being honest. So I am going to add links of my shop and the things I actually need. I'm gonna write this in to link my store and then the link thumbnail i'm gonna try to do my logo i'm not sure if it's gonna work it seems like it will i'm gonna add another link this link is gonna be watch my business journey plus vlogs on youtube and paste that there and then i'm gonna add another link this one's gonna be my tiktok and then one more link instagram so we're done with that i'm gonna put publish i'm gonna go to style up here i'm gonna choose the same background color as my website which is something similar to that oh i love that pink it just doesn't look good but i love it maybe something lighter Ooh, that's cute and then the font i think i might go white yeah that looks a lot better link color i might also do white nope definitely needs to be black uh, that font is okay malish what is malish meh laura no carla i like carla gairo i like gairo too Bioran. i like that one too last one b612 mm, no i think i might just do this with my links i'm gonna try 
and move this to the top. I want the store link to be the first one that pops up. I'm gonna add a little emoji, I forgot. And publish the bio. So I'm gonna copy link and post it on my socials. That is there. It is set up. It is good to go. It's so pretty. It is P -a so hold up. I need to add little hearts here on the side or something. There is the main setup for my starter Shopify account. It honestly was really intimidating to do this, but the more that I am on this platform, I'm kind of getting a little bit more used to it and understanding a little bit more. It's just the beginning. Hopefully I'll be an expert in just a few months, <laughs> but for now, everything seems to be working. I have my domain and I have shipping set up and I have have checkout setup and taxes and all of that good stuff. I'm extremely happy with everything we've done. I will keep you guys updated because I am sure that there's gonna be future changes and just we're gonna continue growing and improving and setting up different things. So if you guys are interested in this type of content, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.